Okay, so far our first season at Sunderland is not going exactly as planned. We're playing some good football, but wins have been so hard to come by and we find ourselves near the bottom of the championship. Now we knew this season was going to be rough, but we got to find some way to drag ourselves up the table. Now we've made two signings so far, but maybe we need a different kind of signing. Maybe a new assistant coach. So drop a like if you want to see more of this series. And of course, let's get back into it. Now to start this episode, I have to introduce you to someone. His name is Morgan Cooper and he is one of Sunderland's all-time legends. Now he played as a striker for all 12 years of his professional career at Sunderland and now that was in the 1980s and 1990s. He wasn't known as one of the best players ever by any means but to Sunderland fans he's special to them and now fast forward to current day he's 57 years old and he's currently a scout for Salford City. I want to make him my number one assistant coach but I'm not sure he's gonna accept. Now first comment you should give Aushish and also Mason Burstow more game time. Yeah I'd say off the bench Aushish has been pretty good. It kind of sucks to don't play with a cam so he has to play either in the midfield or on the wing when he's much more naturally a number 10 but I will try to play him more for sure. Now next so I think the formation is the reason for the bad performances. Five at the back with a good attacking right wing back and left wing back will make the difference. Yeah, if we can uh, get some wins, start putting some results on the board, we are definitely going to need a formation change. And if we stay near the bottom of the table, we might have to go very defensive to try and stay in the championship to avoid relegation this season. Now, last one, you could play Hume at center back and play Pembele at right back since Onian isn't really that quick. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely an option. The fact that Onian is our captain makes me want to try and keep him in the starting 11 for now. But once again, if we keep losing, there's going to have to be some changes in this team for sure. Now, currently, we have zero assistant coaches in this team. We're going to try and change that right Right now so we meet with morgan cooper and we tell him we could really use your experience you know this club inside and out and the players respect you now cooper says i'm not sure i'm fit to be a coach i enjoy being a scout and we try to convince him here we say maybe we can call it an advisor role you can come on to our coaching staff if you like it we'll bring you on full time but if you don't you can go back to being a scout and cooper thinks about it and he says all right i'll give it a shot let's do this so of course the news breaks that morgan cooper this sunderland legend has joined sunderland's coaching staff and the headline reads will this give sunderland a much needed boost. Hey, that's what we're going to hope for. Now, last episode, we had a bunch of tough games. And of course, in this episode, that does not change at all. Our first game of the day is versus first place Preston, who have not lost a game yet. So we face the current best team in this league as we sit all the way down in 20th place. Now, thankfully, the first team is fully fit for this. I think I might start Equa over Bellingham. That kind of worked well in our last play game. Of course, we got new signing Bakuna there, who's been so good at CDM. And we go with that against the uh, current first place team. Honestly, I'm a little scared. Kind of surprised with all the good teams in this league that Preston aren't first. But maybe it shows like what they're playing. So I I do not know how this is going to go. Like I said before, we play good football. We just can't hold leads. We can't actually see games out. That is our biggest issue right now. Yeah, that was a good play. Hume just kind of got, uh, wait, that's actually Huggins, right? Huggins got destroyed. Bakuna, good tackle though. Wait, no, that is Hume, bro. I get Hume and Huggins mixed up so much. Now, Neil though, gets it out to Patrick Roberts. Roberts, we got an option here. Get it back to Parrot. Good pass to Parrot. Now, Parrot. Gonna look for a left-footed shot. That shot was not bad. It does go over the net, though. Good ball in behind. This is not good. Ledson, who is a very young player. That's gonna be right to, I think, their striker. And hey, Patterson makes a good save. Patterson has been very shaky. He makes good saves, and then he lets goals that are in, or I should say, that are uh, very easy to save. They look like they are. So he's inconsistent. I'll say that. Okay, he got a free kick in a very dangerous spot here. It is gonna be lofted in. That's gonna be, I think, out. Nope, it's not. It's gonna be Keen, and that's 1 0 to Preston. I was trying to clear with Bauer. We just couldn't clear it. And it hasn't been a bad start, but we just couldn't get there. We, our marking was terrible. Okay, 1 0 down. Down in 27 minutes to the first place team. Pretty much gone as expected. Equa gets it to Clark though. Usually we found kind of response in the previous games. Can we find it in this game, Neil? Into Roberts. Roberts turns, goes for a shot. Whoa, that was a weird shot. Now cross in to actually no one. That is a very poor corner. Now, Neil. Did he go for a shot? Neil. Oh my, Neil. What a shot. Bro, Neil can do that. I didn't know that. What a shot. And it's 1-1. We somehow always find a response, but we just can't get across the finishing line. And I am heavily impressed by Neil. It's another one of our young players, and he's been so good. That shot is insane. That's got like swerve to it. All right, Ballard, good tackle. No, that's a bad pass. So that was meant for actually Bakuna, not uh, Troy Perry. Hume, Hume, good defending. Very good defending by Hume. Roberts has a pass here. Gets it to Neil. Neil needs a pass. Is going to find Jack Clark, and Jack Clark hits the post. We could have just taken the lead. What a good pass. Last part, I think, yeah, Neil, but Clark, first time finish. Oh, it just hits the post. Bro, we could be one goal up on the best team in the championship right now. Now, they get the final chance of the first half. If they score here, it's going to be criminal and so not justified. Equa, Equa, no, doesn't get by there, Bakuna. No, how does he get by? Okay, Onian, very good interception there. Our captain basically just saved a goal there. And once again, halftime, we're playing we're playing with the current first place team. And I wish Clark would have scored that, though. Still a lot of game left. Okay, Bakuna, great still in Equa. Now, Clark, get it back to Equa, get it over to Neil. Hume, get it back to Neil. Come on, we can find a shot here, Bakuna. Over to. It's going to be Jack Clark. Left-footed shot, and Jack Clark's shot goes wide. And those defenders close him down very well there. Neil, okay, is Roberts on side? 
is no he's offside that could have been a goal right there that was almost time perfectly bro this game feels winnable knee and good interception get up to parrot now we need our players to make runs parrot get it back to equa then to huggins huggins oh he's gonna lose it to the fullback i tried playing it back to clark there okay, look at our press though our press looks dangerous they do break out of it clark gets it to parrot we can try this again parrot into clark who is onside i think jack clark he does have stamina jack clark has got to pass the far post it's gonna be roberts and that is a lead for sunderland jack clark with the unselfish pass and 20 minutes to go we just take the lead we have a chance to give press in their first loss of the year once again it's jack clark doing so much for this team though roberts a very good finish as well come on 20 minutes away from a huge win come on screw one goal lead i want to score this third goal jack clark gets it to hume neil into clark try to find something here now bakuna has a chance to shoot from distance bakuna is going to shoot from distance woodman saves it come on find something please corner in looks good we're not going to get a header on that though all right we got nine minutes left i'm not making subs yet nobody's really tired this team has got us here i want to see if they can close it out these 11 players oh that's a foul on us how is it a foul on me please not like this clear it just clear it good clearance bakuna neil gets it pair we got space now pair it into roberts get it out wide now parrot i see you hume good ball no hume the ball is so bad actually that was a tough pass i'll give him that three minutes good header neil get it back all we gotta do is hold this ball right now parrot clark get it over one more time pass down the middle it's gonna be roberts no it's gonna be stolen no we should have just cleared it not like this ballard ballard just clear that please not like this we got 10 seconds please ref blow the whistle please ref Ref is going to blow the whistle. What a win for Sunderland. 2-1. We just beat the first place team in the championship. Also away from home. Talk about our first game with uh, Morgan Cooper in the dugout. He may have given this club a little boost. Man, that is the best win of this series so far. So we knock Preston down to a uh, fourth place. And we jump up to... We're going to we're gonna stay in 20th. Okay, it's fine. If we can get another win, we would jump all the way up to... All the way up to 11th place. It's a large step in the right direction, though. And it kind of further reinforces I'm not into a formation change just yet. We've been playing well with this team. I just feel like our losses and draws have come in very like uh, unlucky circumstances with this setup we have played well now i believe this episode we're gonna get also our first ever youth reports back so that's gonna be a lot of fun to look at but our next game is probably it's probably not gonna be fun it is the uh, carabao cup round of 32 and our next game is a trip to old trafford facing manchester united i mean what are the chances that we get man united drawn the team we just used last in a career mode and we now face them in the carabao cup what are the chances here i mean we are the heavy underdogs in this matchup and now before this game eric ten Hag speaks about us he says he's a very young coach and he has a lot to learn but to take on a big job like that so young is very impressive. I mean, we may have just beat a team in first, but I'm not sure if we can beat a Premier League level team, especially with some players being tired. I'm going to start Rusin this game for Parrot. I'm going to start at least safe for Huggins too. Also, Pembele for Hume. And I think we'll go with uh, that this game. So we take a trip to Old Trafford. Yeah, I just feel like this might go very, very badly. We can try and pull off like a crazy shock win. But yeah, this might go badly. We'll see. You know, Nian, attack on Hoyland to start. We're not playing defensive here. We're playing the same way we would against any opponent. We're going to play our style. And our style was not making bad passes like that though. Actually, Actually, it might be. Okay, Elise, get tackle on Hoyland. We get the ball out. Are these kids kind of clashing, but this is kind of like the best option we had. Gonna play it to Elise. Elise gets it up to Jack Clark. Now, Jack Clark has got a room to cross it. That is not a bad cross. Molassia clears it. Kuna. A chance from distance, but Kuna shoots. That's going to go off Casemiro. Whoa, Martinez. What kind of clearance is that? It uh, falls to Onana, though. Roberts, good ball to Bakuna. Bakuna, wait for Roberts. Trying to find him. Goes to Brucine. He's going to take a shot. Onana. That is a very shaky save. Okay, start of the game. We've had the better chances here. Bruno Fernandez gets it out wide to Anthony, though. Okay, they're starting to play with a lot of pace. Anthony in front of O'Neill. He's going to turn him. O'Neill just clear it. Okay, actually, at least I keep it. We're good. It's actually, solid defending. Oh, this is not good. O'Neill goes for a tackle. That was risky, but a very good tackle on Bruno. Roberts gets it to Neil. Neil is becoming one of our most important players by every game. See, he's playing so well. We've seen Roberts. No, I tried to find Neil, but last he's going to get that one. Now, that's a very good ball in behind to McTominay. Samiro gets it to Hoyland. Turns my center back, and they are going to score the first goal of the game. Yeah, I mean, Ballard versus Hoyland is very tough for Ballard. And Hoyland strikes first. It's going to be 1 0. I mean, after these first 25 minutes, I think we actually have a chance to win this, but we got to play perfect basically we gotta take our chances and be a good ball to hoyland gotta make a tackle there bruno ballard gotta make a tackle gotta make something ballard good tackle cannot be complacent and that is gonna be half time and that first half absolutely flew by if we can score make this one one this would get interesting we say into job get it out to jack clark now clark we're gonna try cross again a good cross but no one's there for it roberts good ball to neil now neil wait for a run neil is gonna find roberts roberts gets it over to Rusine into jack clark jack clark shoots but his shot goes wide oh that was such a good chance oh my ballard that is the best slide tackle of the year so far that was incredible on anthony neil ball up to rusine now hold it roberts is kind of in there oh that rusine that ball was so bad though i should know probably not to attempt that with him and they're kind of playing some risky passes here we just can't steal it from them right now Domine gets it to casemiro if we intercept one of those there's a clear chance we just can't though okay, thankfully pembele is there to get that one we got 15 minutes to tie it up job gets it to jack clark this might be our one chance our biggest chance clark gets it to job job wait for it wait for it wait for it get it over to neil 
Neil's gonna shoot. Martinez is gonna block it though. Okay, Ashish, Parrot, and also Mundor coming on. Yeah, fresh legs in the attack. Corner sent in by Bakuna. It's gonna be cleared though. Clark is gonna find Onian. I am looking for something here. Crossover. It's gonna be another corner though. Corner in by Bakuna. That looks great. Ballard, a chance. Ballard's header goes over the net though. And he also got injured on that header. Oh, that was a good free chance for him. He, he got to it first. Hopefully, he's not actually hurt. We got nine minutes. That might be our best chance though to get back in this. Domine gets it over to player who I have no clue who he is. Patrick Stick. I know who he is, but Ballard could tackle there. And he's injured, still putting in challenges like that. Okay, we have one chance we get this forward. Otherwise, we're knocked out of the Kirbach Cup. It's gotta be a perfect attack here. Kuna lift it up for Elise. Get it over to Aushish into Jack Clark. Get it back to Parrot. Parrot into Jack Clark. Jack Clark looking for one shot. Looking for a shot. Gets it to Neil. Neil is gonna try to find Mundo. No, I should have just shot there, bro. I should have just shot. Oh, I thought Mundo had a better chance to shoot there. It's gonna be a loss versus Manchester United. And just like that, we are knocked out of the Carabao Cup. Honestly, that wasn't that bad. I thought we'd lose this like two or three nil. A one nil loss where we definitely could have tied it up. I would say that's not too bad. Now, thankfully, Ballard's not hurt, so he's not injured. So we avoid injury there. Now, after that game, we finally have our first uh, youth reports of the series. So let's see if our scouts found anyone. So first report is gonna be from South Africa. I mean, this guy's got 92 potential. That's not bad. This guy has 81, 73, 81. Not the the best we're gonna reject the ones that have low potential obviously these two guys might be good uh fikile kamalo maybe that's katsu kamalo's cousin for those who remember and then i'm not gonna even try to pronounce his name we might scout these two further i'm not gonna assign them just yet we're gonna scout them further though now from uh romania oh this looks rough 140 uh 130 and this guy also seven potential not good enough for romania now last one our best scout from england we got jonathan holmes we got joel abbott and also alex collins now collins actually doesn't look maybe that bad abbott looks bad i think we're gonna scout these two further jonathan holmes and also alex collins so we didn't find too much in our first support our scouts are not the best. I mean, what do we expect? We're not Chelsea. We're not Manchester United. We don't have that kind of scouting system, at least not yet. I think we'll get one more report in this episode. So we still have a chance to find something. Now, next game is QPR away, a team that's probably like near our level, kind of a championship, uh, championship purgatory. Now, a win here could send us all the way up to maybe 12th, which would be humongous. Come on, that Preston win has to give us like some confidence. The fact that we showed that we can actually win a game, we can see how to win, take the lead. It's just, can we do it more consistently to get ourselves out of the bottom of the table? QPR is a team I definitely think we could beat here. Jack Clark, decent run here. Echo was making a run also. Jack Clark's gonna lose it to Reggie Cannon though. Kuna, Neil, get it over to Hume. Into Roberts, Roberts, Parrot. Man, he's got, he like backs up into two defenders. He needs more space than that. Okay, Parrot's actually hurt, which that's not a good sign. That'll be his second injury of the year if he's actually injured. Is he injury prone? He might be, I don't know. Last time it was a bruised shoulder, I think. So hopefully it's uh, something light like that. Now they have a chance to take the lead here. That's gonna be a good run. O'Neal though, good defending. And we will get the ball out. Okay, Parrot just ran off that injury in real time. I love that. Roberts gets it to Neil. Neil's gonna shoot. That goes off the defender though. I think that was handball by Neil too. Oh, what was that touch, bro? That touch was diabolically bad. I don't know what that was. Thankfully, we don't concede from it. Kuna gets it to Equa. Now, Jack Clark making a run. Clark, no, please be on side. Huggins, are you on side? I think he is. No, he's not. Huggins, you got to stay on side there. There's no reason to be offside. On this first goal in this game is big. Not been a great start by either team. And Clark, that pass is extremely bad. Oh, this is so bad. Patterson makes a very good save, though. All right, this might be their final chance. First half, Huggins. It's not the greatest clearance, and they're going to get a shot from it. Oh, they're going to score from this, aren't they? They are going to score from that. Bro, I am like desperately trying to clear the ball, and they're just not clearing it. What a terrible end in the first half. This should be nil-nil right now. Balling into the same bad old habits. Do we have a response? We found one in the first game. Do we have one this time around? Roberts in a pair. Parrot gets it out to Equa. There's just no room to shoot here. Everyone is so back. Bakuna gets it out to Huggins. Huggins cross far post gets it. Okay, Parrot overran that. Neil controls it. Neil goes for a volley. Keeper's gonna save that one. Okay, we're gonna go for a short corner. Our corners have not really worked so far. Jack Clark gets it back to Neil. Neil, we know he can shoot. We know he can shoot. Neil, what a goal. Bro, Neil might be the player of the episode so far. He has played so well. And okay, 1 1. This game is tied up. Bro, this guy can shoot. I didn't know this when we started the series, but I found out very fast. He's got an eye for goal from the middle. Field. Okay, 1-1 one, one in the 55th minute. Okay, Anderson kind of beats O'Neal for pace here. Gonna get it into Frey, but Kuna good tackle. Neil, just clear that thing. Just clear it. Oh, man, they just broke our press so well. Anderson gets it into Frey. Frey's gonna shoot. Patterson is gonna make a save, though. Corner in. That is out by Jack Clark. Cook into Reggie Cannon. Okay, good tackle by Neil. Very good tackle by Neil. Now, the problem is when we get it out, we can get it out. He actually out very well here, Roberts. Into Parrot. Get it back to Roberts. Roberts. Parrot gets it over to Clark. One pass over. It's going to be Equa. Equa chance to score. Equa is going to finish that. What a beautiful counterattack by basically all of our midfield in attack. Man, Parrot Clark did so well there. And then Equa, not known for his finishing. That's a very good finish. Okay, one sub. Roberts off for Mundell. And we now have the lead in this game just like Preston.
Oh my parrot steals. Wait, that's a foul. There's no way that's a foul right there. There's no way. We got that so cleanly. That is false. Oh, now they get a chance from it. Willick plays it through to chair. No, chair's gonna shoot, bro. That was not a foul. They got that chance just because of that foul, bro. Oh, that is so just not justified. That ball behind was good, I guess, but oh, it's just heartbreaking. We should be in the lead right now. Okay, we got eight minutes now to try and win this game again. Oh, we don't have time really, but patience, we need it. Now lose the ball in a bad spot like this. Nian, get it out to Hume. Hume into Mundle. Mundle. Parrot over to Equa. Equa, a chance to win the game, and Equa has done it again. You gotta be kidding me. The midfielder, the CDM, may have just won us this game for the second time. Bro, what a game for him. Oh, that is so deserved, though. That is so deserved. Just again, we work the ball towards him. He finds space. Left-footed finish. And is that another three points for Sunderland? Oh, please let that be the last goal in this game, please. We got how many minutes left? Neil, Neil, steal it. Neil, no, okay. Oh, Neil, what a tackle. Please tell me that's it. I think that's it. Huggins, we have one chance to shoot here, maybe. Huggins is gonna try and cross this in to actually no one but refs and above the whistle man what another win by Sunderland oh that win feels so good if we would have drew this I'd have been so mad that is two back-to-back -back wins for us in the championship after bringing Morgan Cooper on as an assistant coach coincidence I think not like man is this team now trending upwards after that win we are now all the way up to 13th place and hey we're only four points away from a playoff spot right now so that shows two wins how big of a recovery that could be now after that recent game Cooper wants to talk to us and he says Equa has been playing so well that there's no way we can start billing him over him Equa gives us more defense, gives us more physicality, and he's got the performances to back it. Now, we tell Cooper, I don't want to hurt Bellingham's growth, but I think you're right. Equa is going to be a starter from here on out. And Cooper says, about this coaching thing, I think I can get used to it. So yeah, Equa has rightfully won that starting spot for now. He's just played so well. All right, so we have three more youth scouting reports. So first one from South Africa again. Now, these guys have been scouted a little more further. Now, they also found uh, Nkosi, they found Malangu, and also another Nkosi that those bottom two don't look that great. I think I'm going to sign Figley Kamalo because of that uh, potential 74 to 94. I think I'm going to sign him and I think I might scout the other two further. So that's our first signing out of these reports. Now, Romania does not look that great again. Another uh, not so good report. And then from England, Holmes and Collins don't look that good, actually. So we might pass on them. We got Tyler Clarkson, who doesn't look that great. Also, we got also Sean Barry, who looks it might be a little bit better. And then also Riley Moss, who he does not look bad as well. We might sign those two, actually. Yeah, so Sean Barry, we're going to sign and also Riley Moss. We're going to sign him, too. All right, so Sean Barry is only 52 rated, but he's got decent potential. He's a 5'8 left footed left winger. And he's got decent pace, passing, dribbling. Can maybe be like a number 10, like a cam, maybe. He actually, his stats are going to look bad. Now, Kamalo is 47 rated, which is not great. Uh, with pace and dribbling being his best stats, definitely more of a winger. And then Riley Moss is 46 rated. Now, he is 6'4", though. He's got height. But 46 rated, that's definitely not the best. We might try and sign these guys and then, like, loan them out in January to see if they grow. Because who knows? Maybe Kamalo, Moss, Barry, and Fournier. Maybe they could be future stars of the series. Who knows? All right, so it's not been a great start in November, though. We lost against uh, Huddersfield 3-1 and then drew with Stoke City 2-2. So where are we in the table now? Okay, we're actually in 12th place. That's actually pretty good. Now, we're only four points away from like 17th, so a loss could still send us down the table. But we have made a decent recovery here. The problem is our next two games are against teams that are in the top six, so they're not going to be easy. And that is what we try and tell our team to prepare. We say our next two games are huge tests for us. Both teams are basically Premier League level. So if you want to measure how close you are to that level, next two games, you have your chance. First one is versus Leeds United away, the third place team. And I would say definitely they're a team that's closer to Premier League level than a lot of teams in this league. So it could be a rough one. It's also rough because Troy Parrot is currently out on international duty, so he can't can't play this game. Now, Rusin also as well. So our two strikers are both on international duty. What is that? I guess Burso gets a chance to start. He hasn't played much, but he gets his chance this game. Now, yeah, the stamina in this team is looking terrible. We might bring on our youth academy player check in this game. He's on the bench, so he's a right winger. Due to those players being out on international duty, he might get his debut in this one. But let's also see, I guess, how good Burso is. I mean, 61 rated against Leeds, probably not going to do great, but we'll see. Now, that's an insane ball behind to uh, Gonto. Okay, Onian has a great tackle. Hume is going to play it out for a corner, though. Gotta have better control on that one. Corner in by Georgie. Gino, that's out by Huggins. Now, it's not a bad chance to counter, but we don't have many numbers running forward. Ballard gets it at Equa. Equa into Burstow. Burstow tries to find Roberts. Is that a foul? Thank you, ref, for actually calling that a foul. Thank you. Okay, who's the best free kick taker in this team? It might be Bakuna, actually. Yeah, it's Bakuna. Okay, our new signing a chance for an early goal. We're going to go, like, right there. Decent power on it. Bakuna. From the free kick spot, it's going to go over the wall, but it's going to go right to Melier. Bursto gets it out to Huggins. We got options here. Huggins, you're going to find a pass here? Huggins. Going to try to play something. Jack Clark got his foot to it, but it's going to be out. And that was not a bad chance again. Not a bad spell for us. Neil out to Hume. Hume. Get it back to Neil. Okay, Echo has it, but he's got no options to pass it. Finds Jack Clark. Jack Clark. Chance for a finesse shot. That goes right off a uh, streak, though. Huggins, crossover, Huggins, Huggins. What kind of cross was that? Oh, my, that was bad. Virginia, okay, Onion. That's a really good tackle there. These first 30 minutes, we have not looked bad against Leeds. Okay, Neil, what a tackle, Roberts. Chance for a left-footed finesse shot, but again, it's blocked by streak. Jack Clark gets it to Huggins, Huggins. 
to Neil. Neil, another chance to shoot again, blocked by Junior though. Okay, they get the final chance the first half? No, they don't. Okay, that's half time. Hey, I think we've been the better team here so far. So there's a real chance to get another shock win. Oh, Equa, what a challenge that is. That is beautiful. Now he's going to play it to Neil. We got options here, Neil. Get one more over. Into Roberts, gets it over to Hume. Now, Hume, first time ball, but it's not anywhere near Burstow there. Burstow has a chance to steal it. Maybe not. Oh, our crossing has been horrendous today so far. Now, this is a very good counterattack by them. I'm trying to block that pass. We did well there. Ballard actually did very well there. Corner in. Out by Huggins. Okay, that's really a bad clearance, but it's actually luckily falling right to Bakuna. Virginio goes for a shot, though. Patterson, good save. Okay, leads are getting into this game slowly. Mark, good ball to Huggins. Huggins, a pass on the middle. We're going to find... Patrick Roberts, what a good chance. And Roberts sends it wide. Oh, how did he not even get that on target, bro? Oh, that's the best chance of the game so far. Bursto, back out to Patrick Roberts. He is going to find Bursto. Bursto, a chance to shoot. Not a bad shot, but it's saved. Oh, Neil. Man, we are making some very good tackles this game, like I just said. Equa is going to find Jack Clark. Jack Clark needs an option down the middle, but no one's giving him an option. This has turned into a very weird game. Equa, good challenge though again. Clark gets it to Bursto. Bursto. Right back into Jack Clark. A chance to take the lead. Jack Clark is going to take it himself. Jack Clark left-footed shot, and Melier makes the save. Oh, that was the 89th minute chance to win it. Patrick Roberts cross in. This would win it. O'Neill gets it, and it's going to go over the net. Oh, bro, two chances to win this game in the final few minutes. All right, final minute. Our Youth Academy player, Czech, does make his debut, but not sure he's going to even get the ball here. We got only a minute left. Now we got to make sure we don't lose it, though. Wait, Job steals it. Clark. Plays it a burst, though. Into Neil. We maybe have one more chance here. Oh, Ampud is in a steal from Neil, though. Our players are so tired, bro. Okay, that's going to be full time. You know what? A draw against Leeds. I'll take that. We played well. We just couldn't find that goal. I'm not too mad about that. Headlines are, though, missed chances, cost Sunderland, and Leeds deadlock. Pretty much been the story of our season so far. Just unable to score those, like, meaningful goals. But to be an 11th after our start of the season, I'll take that. It's definitely been a good recovery. Now, what I don't like are these reports coming out saying that Jack Clark is gaining attention from across England. Man City, Liverpool, and Chelsea are all rumored to be interested. Like, bro, Jack Clark has been so good so far this season. If we lost him, it would be heartbreaking. But, I mean, if a team like that comes in for him, we can't really say no to that. So, I'm not sure for how much longer we'll be able to keep on to Jack Clark. We'll have to wait and see. All right, next up is Southampton. Now, they're in seventh place. I thought they'd maybe be in first, like, uh, being the best team in this league. But, they're still obviously a great team. So, once again, it's not going to be an easy match. Bro, our kits were clashing so much, though. So, I had to give Southampton their away kit. We have to deal with that. Now, a big change this game, though, as uh, Czech, our Youth Academy player, he actually starts over Roberts. Roberts is tired, so for the first time in the series, our Youth Academy player gets a start. We will see how that goes. But Parrot's back, thankfully. So we have our normal striker. I feel like this one's going to be as tough or maybe even tougher than Leeds. Now, Check, welcome to uh, the team officially. That's his first touch. And Check has a chance going to run here now. The man's like, what, 50 something rated? Okay, hold up, Check. He's going on an insane run. He's going to try to go for a shot. Okay. That was a very nice run. Just didn't have the finishing, but I like that. Okay, Bakuna. No, this is not good, Bakuna. Bakuna. going to be played to O'Neill. O'Neill has that. Okay, that's very decent defending. Bro, Check. I mean, that was a good run. Now, Parrot into Jack Clark. Back to Check. Now, I'm looking for an option here. Just can't find one. Doom. Chance to cross it. That's once again, it's not a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We had a player there that ran right by the ball. It's like our team doesn't know what a cross is. It's like a caveman discovering fire. Our players just have no idea what to do with it. Instead, it's going to be Stuart Armstrong who scores the first goal of the game. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay, 1-0 to Southampton in 23 minutes. Okay, we knew this game was going to be like this. We'll try to persevere, though. Hume, good run here. Hume we ran right into Stevens, though. Bro, this Kamaldin guy is very quick. That's going to be a drop back. Ballard, great slide over, though. Not a bad chance for Armstrong again. He's going to drag it back, and that's going to be Ryan Fraser, and he's going to score. Okay, 30-second minute. It is 2-0 to Southampton. I mean, they just simply have the better players, and they are showing it in this game. And we played well today, but if we don't recover from this, it is going to be a tough loss, I think. Neil gets it to check. Oh, check. That pass is so bad. That's his passing right there. Oshish gets it out to Huggins. Got to try and get back in it. One goal at a time. Ball to Parrot. Parrot is going to find check. He's going to get a chance to shoot, maybe. Check. Goes around a player. Goes for a shot. Bro, he's actually not look bad. The kid is 54 rated, but he doesn't look bad. But we look bad. Okay, Hume can tackle there. Oh, nine. Just get it out. And okay, halftime. It's currently 2-0 to Southampton. We just score one. We get back in this slowly. O'Neill gets it to check. They don't do too much of a pass there. I like that. Now, Neil. Gonna find Parrot. Okay, Clark, where are you at? Clark, I need you. Huggins, a chance to find another pass here. Plays it back. It's gonna be Neil. That's gonna fall to check. You gotta be kidding me. I cannot believe Check just scored the first goal of his career. Our 54 rated Youth Academy player. Bro, is he just like Mr. Lucky? It's a rebound that falls right to him and it's an open net. Okay, I am so surprised. He has done so well this game. And okay, 2 1. We're back in this. Once again, this team is showing a lot of fight back ability. Ballard against uh, Fraser. Just take him out. That's a tactical foul. It's going to be what? Just talking to? Not a yellow card? Man, that's lucky. That should be a yellow. He also injured Fraser, man. That's how bad that was. Clark into Oshish. Parrot. Get it to check. Now check. Plays it over to Hume. We are showing signs of life. Check. Holds it. Gets it right back to Hume. Now he's got a cross. Parrot. 
I see you. Parrot gets it and Parrot scores. Bro, we have got back in this game. 65th minute. It's 2-2. What a good cross and what a good finish by Parrot. Bro, the 16-year-old Youth Academy player has got us back in this game. But Parrot, what a good finish that is. Okay, 2-2 versus Southampton. We're in this now. What am I seeing? 2-0 to 2-2. And that might not be the last goal in this game by any means. Armstrong gets it to Stewart. Don't let him shoot. That's going to be a shot. Patterson, good save though. Oh no, he's going to shoot that. Patterson, another good save. Here we got 15 minutes left. Just hold on to this, I think. If we get a draw, I'll take it, honestly. I'm 2-0 down to 2-2. I'll take a draw. Razor gets it back to Armstrong. Gets it back. Bednarek into Armstrong. Don't let him shoot. Shea Adams, don't let him shoot. Oh, it's going to go right back to a rebo though. Oh, this is so much defending. It is so much defending shot. Okay, Patterson, he has had such a good episode, I gotta say. He has made some big saves. This has been like 10 minutes of defending. Check, check, steal that, check. Does steal it. And he also plays it back to Huggins. Bro, the 54 rated youth player. What am I seeing right now? Rebo, Rebo, Bakuna. What a tackle on a Rebo. Bakuna gets it to Parrot. Jack Clark, I see you. Now just control it, hold it. Good touch. You got three minutes. We should get the last chance here. Clark, gonna find Parrot. Gets it over to Neil. Neil is going to shoot. No, I trust his shot so much. And he skied that one. All right, three minutes just to hold this score now, at least. It'll be such a big drop. Parrot, a chance to slide tackle. No, it gets through, actually. Okay, they're not going fast enough, though. They might get one chance, actually. No, they're not going to get a chance. Okay, ref blows the whistle. Hey, 2 0 down to 2 2. I'll absolutely take that. That was a very good performance from us in the second half to fight back. And I can't believe Czech had such a good game. The little 16 year old, like, he scored such a big goal to get us back in this. Is he the next youth star of this team? I don't know. Look at that new boy, Machez Czech scores. I I am so shocked at that. He's 16 years old, 54 rated. He might be something special. I don't know. He definitely deserves more chances. So that's one youth player that does look pretty solid. We end the episode sitting in 13th place, which is a good recovery. And now we're not too far away from actually the January transfer window. That might be in the next episode. And also more youth reports to try and find some more youth academy players. So if you want to see more of this series, and of course, drop a like. And if you click on screen, I bet you'll like this video too.